Hey guys, John Adamson with See No Evil, and today we're going to do the conclusion of the 1776 report, which I'm sure many people are happy about. Uh, actually, if they don't want to watch it, they just don't watch it. I'm hoping, again, for posterity's sake, that these might be helpful videos. So here's the conclusion, section 6 of the President's Advisory Committee on the 1776 Project. On the 150th anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence, President Calvin Coolidge raised the immortal banner in his time. It is often asserted, he said, that the world has made a great deal of progress since 1776, and that we may therefore very well discard their conclusions for something more modern. Even then, it was a question. But that reasoning cannot be applied to this great charter. If all men are created equal, that is final. If they are endowed with inalienable rights, that is final. If governments derive their just powers from the consent of the governed, that is final. No advance, no progress can be made beyond these propositions. This is anti-progressivism. America's founding principles are true, not because any generation, including our own, has lived them perfectly, but because they are based upon the eternal truths of the human condition. They are rooted in our capacity for evil and power for good, our longing for truth and striving for justice our need for order, and our love for freedom. Above all else, these principles recognize the worth, equality, potential, dignity, and glory of each and every man, woman, and child created in the image of God. Throughout our history, our heroes, men and women, young and old, black and white, of many faiths and from all parts of the world, have changed America for the better, not by abandoning these truths, but by appealing to them. Upon these universal ideals, they built a great nation, unified a strong people, and formed a beautiful way of life worth defending. To be an American means something noble and good. It means treasuring freedom, in embracing the vitality of self-government. We are shaped by the beauty, bounty, and wildness of our continent. We are united by the glory of our history, and we are distinguished by the American virtues of openness, honesty, optimism, determination, generosity, confidence, kindness, hard work, courage, and hope. Our principles did not create these virtues but they laid the groundwork for them to grow and spread and forge America into the most just and glorious country in all of human history. As we approach the 250th anniversary of our independence, we must resolve to teach future generations of Americans an accurate history of our country so that we all learn and cherish our founding principles once again. We must renew the pride and gratitude we have for this incredible nation that we are blessed to call home. When we appreciate America for what she truly is, we know that our declaration is worth preserving, our constitution worth defending, our fellow citizens worth loving, <coughs> and our country worth fighting for. It is our task now to renew this commitment so we proclaim in the words of our forefathers used two and a half centuries ago for the support of this declaration with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence we mutually pledge to each other our lives our fortunes and our sacred honor and to wrap up here is a co a comment from frederick frederick douglas the Declaration of Independence is the ring bolt to the chain of our nation's destiny. So indeed I regard it. The principles contained in that instrument are saving principles, 
stand by those principles. Be true to them on all occasions, in all places, against all foes, and at whatever cost. The end. There are a number of appendices, but they include things like the actual Declaration of Independence, I believe the Constitution, some of the papers that were referenced. Check it out for yourself. Print yourself a copy. Remind yourself of this history. Remind yourself of the basis. What they're talking about is these principles are eternal. They're inviolable. We shouldn't be just putting them aside. We can't be judging our country on the past behaviors of people because those behaviors in some ways, like ending slavery, having equal access by all people of all skin color and genders to, two genders, to access to jobs and to housing, all of that has come about because of these principles. And they'll only go away if we neglect these principles. That's why this is so important. John Adamson with See No Evil. Take care. God bless.